Hi, I'm Jessica Adams from SilverCenses.com. Hi, Jessica. My name is Dixie Naidu. I'm the director of nursing at Hamlin Place. How long have you been in healthcare, Dixie? I've been here in healthcare for 32 years. I've been in Hamlin for three and a half. And what is your favorite part about the job? I love caring for my residents. Taking care of the elderly is one of my forte in life. And um, it gives me so much of joy to see that whatever I do comes out positive and then when they are pain free and comfortable that makes me very, very happy. How many residents do you have in your building? We have a 120 bed facility but we are at the moment in the hundreds. So. And doctors come to the building and therapists have come to? Or? We have an in-house therapy department and doctors visit the building every day practically. Okay. If my mom's at home, can she come right to the building as a patient? How does that work? Yes, she can come to the building as a patient depending on her insurance. We can take care of her. We can put on a rehab program. We can treat her medically, yes. There is absolutely no need for her to go to the hospital unless you know, the insurance de demands that. What type of insurance do you accept here? We uh, have Medicare, Medicaid, and the Humana Gold insurance. What type of patient is appropriate for the respiratory care program at Hamlin Place? The respiratory care program is not just a program for high polluted respiratory patients. It deals from mundane things like shortness of breath right up onto tracheostomy care and maintenance. So anybody with congestive heart failure, shortness of breath, asthma, uh, any mild degree of a breathing problem can be in that program up to tracheostomy care, post, you know, post tracheostomy care and long term tracheostomy care. Now my mom is a diabetic. Is, do you have services to support her medical needs? We have all services. Our clinical staff here is so excellent, so efficient, and so knowledgeable. We deal with every aspect of the medical uh, complexities here. And the doctors, in, with their help, we are able to accommodate the resident and their disabilities at the same time. Do you have a nutritionist on staff or a dietitian? Yes, we have a dietitian and we have a, a diet tech as well as, as well as a dietary manager. Okay, so the food that you would serve my mom who's a diabetic would be diabetic diet? Or yes, it will be a diet appropriate for her medical needs, yes. Wonderful. How do you serve food here? They have their meals in the dining room if they are able to and they all entertain themselves and socialize in the dining room. Those that do not prefer to eat in the dining room will have their meals sent to them in their rooms. Do you offer activities here yes. at Hamlin Place? Yes, activities that are a seven day a week program and it's done right up from the morning until the night at least at about 8 p.m. So activities are done on a daily basis, yes. What type of activities do you offer? We have uh, anywhere from games, bingo, volleyball, a game, an outing in the park, they have drives to the stores, they have movies, they have entertainment, outside entertainment, musical, they have uh, schools entertaining them, they have lots of little painting and you know handwork stuff so there's a lot to keep the residents occupied here. So you deal with physical therapy as well as activities to utilize fine motor skills? Yes we do, yes we do. They, uh, the fine motor skills are really enhanced in activities and that when they're doing their painting and their little beadwork and you know little crochet and stuff like that they're able to expound on their therapy needs too. Wow. Okay. Tell me more about your physical therapy program. Our physical therapy program uh, involves uh, a physiatrist and he is new on the team so it's really going great at this time and uh, with his help they are, they are expanding the cardio pulmonary program, they, uh, they have PT, physical therapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy. So um, he basically oversees all those sections, he either improves or tells them where the next level should be. So the short-term care program is designed not for people to live here, but they're designed to go home? Exactly. Right? They're designed to go home. It's, uh, it's short-term, like you said, and uh, we do it as at the pace that they are able to cope with. So the faster they are able to cope with it, the faster they get to go home. The longer they take, the longer they stay here. 
we also have the program for long-term patients so we keep them mobile and we keep them contracture free so we have to keep them at their level best and you have private rooms available at Hamlin Place yes we do we have a few private rooms available and uh, yes they are available to the public when they need them how does a social worker do you have a social worker uh, on staff here yes we have a social worker and uh, her name is Portia and she sees to the social needs of the residents and if there's any issues and concerns we always refer to the patients to her and she deals with their discharge planning as well and home health placement. Well, thank you for your time today, Dixie. Thank you.